Hello, welcome to the Kalashnikov, welcome to Dead by Daylight, and today I wanted to spend some time to discuss the proposed changes to the Wraith. Now, with the PTB that was launched last week, everyone focused mostly on the new killer, the Spirit, and the new survivor, Adam Francis, but a lot of people fail to realize that the Wraith has actually gotten lots of buffs and Surprise, surprise, I have to admit that I'm actually really, really excited and really happy with the proposed changes that the devs have made to the Wraith. I do have one slight issue with the changes, which I'll talk about a bit later, but for the most part, the Wraith, I believe with the new changes, is going to become one of the most interesting killers you can play as. Now, the Wraith is not going to be a top-tier killer by any stretch of the imagination. But I'm starting to think that he might actually qualify to be at least in the mid-tier list of killers. That's right, I actually think that the Wraith might become or is now better than Freddy, he's better than the Doctor, he's better than the Hag. And he might actually be on par with the likes of the Pig and maybe even Trapper. I I haven't made up my mind just yet, I, will, I would have to play as the Wraith against uh, the veteran survivors in the game, the Divine Quan survivors. But with these new changes, the Wraith is going to be a huge menace to average, to uh, noob survivors. Survivors who are just new to the game or survivors who are just average, who are decent. The Wraith will be a terrifying killer to go up against. Now, to understand fully why I'm in love with the upcoming changes to the Wraith, we need to take a look at the add-ons that have undergone a complete rework. But before that, keep in mind that the Wraith now has the inbuilt Winston effect, where once he uncloaks himself, He'll receive a speed boost for, I believe it's 0.5 seconds, which is good. But now, the add-ons he has make him a really interesting killer to play as. And in fact, some of these add-ons are actually better than perks. That's right. Some of the add-ons the Wraith has are actually better than perks. It is unbelievable, but it's the truth. Let's start off with the common add-ons. We have the Serpent. This will uncloak the Wraith completely while he's performing an action like breaking a gen or breaking pallets. This is really useful because in the past, many times when you're approaching a gen that's been walked on, survivors will see you, then they'll run. Typically, you would have to break the gen first and then uncloak yourself before you can begin to hit the survivors. This add-on takes away that extra action that's needed to uncloak yourself. So while you're breaking the pallet or breaking the gen, you'll automatically uncloak giving you time to now hunt survivors as soon as you finished performing that action. Next you have the Hound. Fresh blood marks are considerably more discernible than normal. These can be used in place of Predator or even Bloodhound. You no longer need that perk. You can just use the Hound and the blood marks will be more discernible. Fantastic! Next you have the Ghost and this is, in my opinion, the single best common add-on of any killer in the entire game. What does this do? Well, after uncloaking, the Wraith's terror radius and red stain will remain suppressed for 6 seconds. That's right, the Wraith will not have a terror radius and he won't have a red stain either for 6 full seconds after he is uncloaked. This is incredible, and I'm going to show you another add-on that you can combine with this one to make the Wraith a truly terrifying killer to play against. Next, you have the Beast. The Wraith's terror radius is no longer suppressed while cloaked, but blood points granted for stalking and surprise attacks are increased by 100%. So finally, we have an add-on that you can use as the Wraith to get some much needed blood points. The Blown Clapper right now, survivors can no longer descend the Wraith's uh, Willing Bill, uh, distance of direction, which is great. Let's take a look at the other add-ons. You have the blink mod, which is still the same, which will reduce the Wraith's appearance. And then you have the Windstorm, which does more or less the same as it used to. But in this case right now, it will moderately increase the Wraith's movement speed while cloaked. But it will also slightly decrease the Wraith's movement speed while uncloaking. You have the Swift Hunt, which will reduce the Wraith's appearance time. And then you have the new add-on right here, the Blind Warrior, which will inflict survivors with the aura blindness for 60 seconds after they've been hit in a surprise attack. So this can replace Hex the third seal. It can do that, which is fantastic. 
Next up you have the Windstorm White which will again increase the weights movement speed while cloaked but will also slightly decrease the weights movement speed while uncloaking. And now you have the Swift Hunt which will moderate to reduce the weights for appearance time, no changes here. And now we have the new perk or rather the new add-on here which is the Shadow Dance. Considerably reduces the time required to vault windows, break pallets or damage gens while cloaked. This is a perk that you or rather an add-on that you can use in place of Freddy Krueger's fire up perk. That's right. This is a fantastic add-on. And when you combine this add-on, the Shadow Dance White with the Shadow Dance Blood add-on, the speed at which the Wraith moves is terrifying. It's a shame I don't have video footage to show you. I've tried to record some, some footage, but unfortunately, no one seems to be playing Survivor on the PTB anymore. But I did combine these two, the Shadow Dance White and the Shadow Dance Blood, and the speed at which I was vaulting and breaking pilots was terrifying. It was unbelievable. These two add-ons are actually better than your uh, Brutal Strength or your Fire Up, and it's just incredible. The Wraith with these two add-ons becomes a very terrifying killer to play against. Imagine being able to vault through windows just as fast or even faster than survivors in certain scenarios. Unbelievable. Next, we have the Blink White, which tremendously reduced the weight's disappearance time, okay? And then you now have the Blind Warrior. Surprise attacks inflict survivors with mangled and hemorrhage until fully healed. There you go. You can use this add-on in place of Sloppy Butcher. <laughs> you can use this add-on in place of Sloppy Butcher. You don't need to use Sloppy Butcher anymore for the mangled or hemorrhage status effects. And then you have the Winston Blood, which will tremendously increase the weight's movement speed while cloaked while slightly decreasing the weight's movement speed while uncloaking. And then you have the Swift Hunt, which will of course considerably reduce the weight's appearance time. You have the All Sin, which will reveal the odds of survivors within 12 meters while you're cloaked. And then you have the All Sin Spirit, which can be used in place of Tinkerer. Because right now, while cloaked, the repair progress of gens can be determined by the intensity of their auras. The redder the, the, redder the aura, the sooner that gen will be completed. So this is a perk that you can use, or rather an add-on, I keep on saying perk. This is an add-on you can use in place of Tinkerer. Amazing. Now I skipped over the Cox Clumped Clapper because this is just a really terrifying add-on you can use with the Wraith. This will render the Wailing Bell completely silent. When you combine the Cox Clone Clapper with the Hound, oh, I'm sorry, the, the Ghost Suit add-on, these two make for a truly terrifying Wraith to play against. Because right now, with these two, the Wraith can uncloak himself and approach survivors and pull them off of Jens. Because here's the thing, once he uncloaks himself, survivors will not know that he is uncloaked because the Willing Bill is completely silent thanks to this add-on. And then he's not going to have a Terror Radius or even the Red Stain thanks to the Ghost add-on. So with these two right now, you have a truly a jump scare build for the Wraith. Incredible. And this is why I say that the Wraith right now is one of the most interesting killers you can play as because you can go and use different kinds of add-ons and and basically try out different kinds of builds. You no longer have to be one-dimensional like most of the killers who are either very good at uh, tracking like the Doctor or Freddy or killers who thrive on being stealthy like Myers or killers who are just very good defensively like the Hag or the Trapper or then killers who are very good offensively like uh, the Hillbilly, the Nurse or the Huntress. Most of these killers are one-dimensional. They're only good at playing in a certain kind of way. But with the Wraith right now, you can become really stealthy by combining these two add-ons. You can be decide to become really offensive by combining Shadow Dance uh, with the Shadow Dance White, the Shadow Dance Blood add-on with the Shadow Dance White add-on. These two will make you truly unstoppable. You'll become very fast and you can just start hunting survivors from the get-go. So with these add-ons right now, you can combine them and have truly interesting builds with the Wraith. And again, I am really excited for these new changes and I cannot wait to try out the Wraith in actual real games playing against uh, the top ranked survivors. But despite all these exciting changes, I do have one criticism 
and that is the fact that it appears that the devs have now increased the time it takes for the Wraith to uncloak himself by default, which kind of negates the effect of the inbuilt windstorm effect. And I don't understand why the devs decided to do this. Why give the Wraith the inbuilt windstorm effect only to then negate its, its effect by increasing the time it takes for the Wraith to uncloak himself? It just doesn't make any sense. It's like giving the Wraith something with one hand and then taking that same thing away from the Wraith with the other hand. It just doesn't make sense to me and that's just my one criticism of the new changes uh, coming to the Wraith. But in closing, I have to once again say that I am really happy with these new changes that the Wraith will now have and I believe the Wraith will now become a mid-tier killer, maybe one of the weakest killers in the mid-tier list. He is not going to be one, the weakest killer anymore in my opinion. I don't think the Wraith is the weakest killer. I still think the weakest killer will be Freddy. And with these changes, I think that the Wraith might now be better than the Doctor, better than the Hag, even with her new buffs as well. And I think he might be on par with the likes of uh, the Trapper and maybe even uh, the Pig. We'll have to uh, again wait and see. He might be better, he might be worse, I don't know. I'll have to play against the top rank survivors to really determine how good or how buffed up uh, the Wraith is. But it goes without saying that the Wraith is now stronger than he used to be thanks to the reworks to his add-ons. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. Hit the subscribe button and hit the alert, uh, rather hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much and uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.